the truth is that there is no peace for the wicked. Yes, forget about the fact that they have covered their face with marks. But deep inside you as a choosing, without you being told, without me unfolding the truth, you know within you that there is no peace for the wicked. <laughs> yes, people have hurt you. But trust me, they don't sleep well. Because God have taken karma, have taken peace away from them. Trust me. This is why sometimes when I see people doing evil, I pity for them. Because they may feel good in the morning. But what about in the evening? That is just the far truth. You know, when I was a kid, there is always a parable that my dad used to tell me. You know, my dad used to tell me something. Look at this. You can only cut your wood in the morning and have it in the evening to use. If you refuse to cut your wood or your tree in the morning, you will never be able to have nothing to use in the what in the evening. It simply means that the way you prepare your life right now will determine how you are going to suffer, how your life is going to be in your old age. Because sometimes wicked people, God give them, um, like, let me put it, unmerited grace. He give them time, so much time for them to change from their wickedness. That is why the majority of us always ask ourselves a question. Why the wicked always live long? Yes, trust me. Many of us always ask ourselves, we know that this person is evil, we know that he's so evil, but why is it that God gives them long life? Because he knows the consequences and the pain that they will go through if their life accurately ends up like that. You know what I'm saying? So this is why you should understand that there is no wicked that is living a good life as you thought or think. Because a lot of people are wearing masks, wearing masks in front of you, covering what they are going through. You know, there was a man then when I was a kid that people do used to fear so much. <laughs> they do used to fear the man. Because if eventually this is a, a, a boundary of a farm, you know, as, as I'm touching this, and this man decides to shift this thing and put it in your vineyard, my brother, some people will not even talk. They will just leave it for the man. And this man has collected a lot of land from different angles. He has collected a lot of things. But trust me, when this man was about to die, he sell everything to do or to cure himself infirmity. But none of the weight, none of the money is capable to solve it. <laughs> to the point where they start to take him from one church to another but all end up in vain you know this is why I always tell people be careful because when the rod of God come upon you as a wicked man as a wicked is trust me it take only the grace of God because when God is totally filled with you and he decides to strike ha <laughs> according to what Libya Allah Gali Allah Gali, trust me. That's why you should understand that many people around you are going through a law that they can't explain. They are facing through a law that they can't narrate. Because a wicked man can never have peace. Not on earth yet, nor in heaven. That is why when Nazareth, when the rich man and the poor man died, the, the, but the poor man was still what, enjoying why the rich man was still what suffering. So you should understand these brothers. No wicked can ever live without paying the price of what they do, directly or indirectly. Yes, sometimes you may think that ah, they are living well, but they will never tell you what they are going through. One day there was one of my friends who I know, very wicked man. One day this man walked close to me, said something, I regret all that I do. I regret my mistakes. I regret this. I look at him, I say, sometimes God will cause a mistake like this so that you will go through what you are causing others. Because let me tell you, if you take a knife and cut someone like this, God is not going to cut you the same way you cut another person. 
No, it's going to use another system. It's going to use a painful way. You know what I'm saying? So that is why we should be careful. You know what I'm saying? Remember?